The Netherlands is the home of the biggest and most advanced greenhouses. Here in Bleiswijk is one of the greenest greenhouses in the world. And it's also the home of the first LED hack tomato. Hacking a fruit or a vegetable is all about control. Instead of being subject to the whims of nature, this tomato is raised on technology. The plant's three food groups, light, carbon dioxide, and nutrients, are all based on cutting-edge research. Uh, we try to increase the productivity of the plants by modifying the environmental conditions or the irrigation or the, the, the proper nutrient solution so that you have more products at the same amount of input. The three-pronged tomato hack starts with light, or more specifically, with LEDs. Vegetables, uh, they need the light to, to, to put enough sugars into their fruits, whether it be a, a tomato or a, a cucumber. You can use different colors, red and blue and far red. You can uh, influence the size, the, the, the height of the plant. You can influence the color of your plant. Certain amounts of lights will will uh, induce uh, uh, darker colors in your leaves. Those kind of aspects you can, uh, you can easily produce if you know what you're looking for. Sunlight has about 27% uh, blue light. Right now we're using LEDs with uh, approximately 95% red and 5% uh, blue. And so during the day, the, the tomato has enough blue light and during the night hours, then it can use a little bit of extra blue light from the LEDs. Placement of the lights is also important. As the tomato plants grow taller, the LEDs are aimed specifically at the fruit. And we've seen in the last uh, year that we can increase the amount of vitamin C in a, in a, in a fruit, in a tomato fruit, by increasing, concentrating the amount of red light the fruit itself receives. Not the whole plant, but just the fruit. And so if we can do that effectively, then we'll be able to have a better quality fruit with a, with a higher amount of uh, vitamin C. The result is tomato with 50% more vitamin C than average. But plants need more than light to grow. They also need food and water. Artificial substrates or nutrient solutions are the next part of the hack. The taste and the flavor of tomatoes largely depends on uh, the composition of the fruit. It's much easier to influence that by using uh, artificial substrates where you have the possibility of growing the, the plant at different nutrient levels. Uh, you make reuse of the water and the nutrients as much as possible, and that, that gives a reduction in the total amount of, of nutrient solution you have to apply to the plant. The greenhouse also uses an innovative energy system. Wind turbines provide electricity, but so do generators, which have the added bonus of producing extra carbon dioxide for the plants. It's called uh, cogeneration of heat and electricity. So what we do, we burn natural gas, run a generator with that. It generates electricity on one hand, but also heat, and it also produces carbon dioxide. And these three components are used for uh, operational control of the greenhouse. Or if you don't need the electricity at the same time, uh, it's brought into the national grid. Cogeneration at Dutch greenhouses like this one provide about 10% of the country's power. And though hacking a tomato might seem like a tiny advance, the technology developed in these greenhouses will help us feed the hordes of tomorrow. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Glenn Zorpet.